Just got a quickie for you tonight. Uh, so, in a recent video, I went ahead and uh, installed a backlight kit in this uh, Wonder Swan here. Um, but, I would have waited had I known that. Had I, had I realized I could have reshelled it, I probably would have waited and just did that all in one. Um, but, anyway, I've got a new brand new, not, you know, salvaged, nothing like that. This is brand new, newly manufactured. If you look at the screw post, you can see they're unthreaded, which means no one's ever screwed this together. So, I don't know, figure we can, uh, well, figure I can check it out and uh, let you know how I'm feeling about it. Um, I have no real problems with the original shell, except that the back is quite yellowed. Uh, and the lens itself is pretty scratched up. Uh, I could fix the lens being scratched with some careful polishing or just by straight up replacing the lens. Um, but there's not a whole lot I can do about the back being yellowed. So, but we've got a uh, new shell here. So let's let's get started. Let's get to it. And for those that keep commenting on my last video, I I'm fully aware of what game this is. I, I did look it up. Uh, Wonder Swan games have the same code going on that Game Boy games have, so you just type that into the old internet search engine and guess what? You get the name of the game. Um, but I appreciate the help nonetheless. Uh, still got this driver here. And just like I did last time, I'm just going to get a Torx bit. So, technically this isn't an IPS ready shell, unlike all of the other shells that I've done recently. Um, but, technically this IPS kit also doesn't require modification of your shell, so technically it is. Um, I don't know, it's, point being, um, it's not made by Funny Playing or any of the other usual suspects. It is made by, um, best I can describe them, called Cloud Game Store. They have a, a shop on AliExpress, uh, and they sell boutique enthusiast portable gaming mods and, and other fun stuff. I don't think I have to unplug that, actually. But anyway, they, uh, they had a batch or several of these things made up. Why? Who knows? Because they can. Um, unfortunately, it is a lower quantity. Not necessarily quality, but quantity. And small quantity means larger um, per unit pricing. Oh, did I use the glue? I didn't use the glue, did I? I don't remember using the glue. It would have been silly if I did because I left the uh, protective plastic on the LCD. Maybe I will have to unplug this. Or just come at it from another side. There we go. Yeah, see, I left the plastic on. There is a sticky gasket in there. Oh, that's right. There's a sticky gasket from the stock LCD. Ooh, and those do not want to come off. Or at least this one doesn't. I'm ripping the wire out of the solder. Good lord. Oh, 
Oh, that one came off, no problem. Anyway, that's a part. Easy peasy, just the six screws. I feel like, no. No, yeah, that's it, just the six. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I am going to use all new stuff and set aside all the old stuff. I don't know if there are any specific limitations. Like I know with some aftermarket Game Boy shells, um, the screws themselves are a different length. And so that doesn't quite work if you want to reuse them. Ooh, two piece buttons, very fancy. Are these two piece too and I never took them apart? They are. Well, what do you know? So I guess you could keep your old buttons if you want the uh, different color, but like I said, I'm going to try something new. Oh, there's some sprueing. <laughs> On the plastic, hopefully that doesn't interfere. And that one has a little smudge. Yeah. Oh well. I can't really reuse one of the old ones either because, um, the discoloration. It's actually a really cool button design though. Be uh, neat to see something like that in uh, Game Boy Aftermarket stuff. <clears throat> But aside from different colors, I think Kitch Bent is the only one experimenting with um, silicones for buttons. The uh, one goes on top, and the uh, Y pad goes above the X pad. All right, now question, do we want to use the adhesive or leave it off for now? Um, we're going to leave it off for now because I don't actually know what I did with it. I think I will pull off the protective plastic though. Just give it a quick test fit. Alright, before I peel that off, um, I did this kind of out of order. I need to take the buttons out. Oh no, I don't. They'll stay. But the lens on first. I always used to like saving the lens for last because it felt like a good, um, like a good way to finish off a build. But I've learned that the lens should actually be the first 
you install because otherwise you're going to get your darn fingerprints all over the LCD and it's never going to clean up right and you're just never going to be happy. So, lens first. Always. And if you really want to do a uh, pro gamer move, you can just touch the inside of the lens like I just did. That works nicely to uh, ruin your builds. Well, not ruin, but you know what I mean. Since I'm not using the adhesive, I suppose it's not the end of the world either if there's a smudge or something. Alright, just gonna slip that ribbon back into place. all that plastic that I still think doesn't actually do anything but you know it's there just in case reinstall the touch sensors that's not true I'm sure the plastic does do its job of insulating I just hate that the adhesive is basically useless has always frustrated me. screws yeah so be careful with that the new screws are significantly shorter so uh, take a look at this on the left here we have the old screw on the right we have the new screw so you probably no you definitely want to use the new screws because they're shorter for a reason. Now it's entirely possible that that reason is that the shorter screws were cheaper, but don't you don't want to take the chance and ruin your uh, somewhat pricey shell. comes with an extra. What are these? Did I forget a part? go in. Oh, I definitely forgot a part. I need a switch. <clears throat> I 
Maybe those parts are for the uh, battery module. Lost the screw, but good news, it came with an extra, so we're going to not worry about it. All right, now where did this thing go? Right there. Alright, it feels like something shifted because it's not going back together now. Now here's something we should have paid attention to. The foam on the speaker's getting all messed up. Oh, I ripped it. It's really not too important. Um, I just want to make sure it's actually in the hole. Not spilling out the side like it was. Ooh, and that is not in place. It's in there enough. Just like that. I believe that's just the battery line. Wouldn't have been too big a deal if we left it out. Aside from the, uh, you know, hole. I mentioned it in my last video, but I don't think I mentioned it yet. By the way, that is a Torx T6 bit. Oh yeah, that is uh, part of this. Okay. Then these just snap in to hold the terminals in place.
Very nicely fitting sticker. There you go. It's looking pretty slick if I do say so myself. I will say, I think the uh, old buttons felt a little bit better. Not that the old buttons felt great. But... And not that these are bad, either. But I think given the preference, I'd go with the old buttons. I might... Oh, but that's probably the problem. I might have to try putting the uh, plastic bits from the uh, new buttons onto these old buttons and try out the old ones. This lens was a little bit tight going in, but it seems to fit nicely now. An magic blood type to your Wonder Swan. Anyway, yeah, so that's the shell. Um, feel, honestly. Feels about the same. Um, like I said, the only difference is I noticed for the buttons. Um, but since it's a brand new shell, it doesn't have this uh, yellowing that I have on the back right now. This old one. Um, it is a different color than the one that it replaced. And I don't think that's a yellowing thing. I think that's just because it's molded with different plastic. I mean, obviously this, this was made like 20 years after this one, so, um, but I don't know, I'm digging it, I like it, if you're into Wonder Swan, it's probably worth grabbing one of these, and look, now my lens matches my one game, thanks for watching guys, oh, you know what, before I go, I want to say thank you to Retro Game Repair Shop for sending me this shell to check out. Uh, I will go ahead and throw a link in the description to my previous video where I did the backlight kit in the first place, and uh, I'll throw a link to Retro Game Repair Shop if you want to check out these shells for yourself. Uh, again, the Wonder Swan is a pretty... Um, what's the word I'm thinking of? It, it, it's not as popular as Game Boy, and like I said earlier in the video, that. Uh, the shells were made in smaller batches, so I don't know how many there are going to be in stock. I don't know how long they're going to be in stock, but check it out. You know, maybe uh, if that's what you're looking for. They're there for now. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic night, and I will try not to delete this video like I did that other video.